Welcome agents, the devs have today released information about the December holiday activities, which include an exclusive mask and other things. As always, if you enjoy this one, please leave a like below and subscribe for daily Division content. And if you want some cheap, affordable, epic merch, a link will be below to my Teespring store. And with that said, let's get into this. So first off agents, we have the Prime Shield, which will be available from December 6th, which is this Thursday. Now, the Prime Shield requirements read as follows. Complete free full classified gear sets. I believe this one will be retroactive, meaning if you have free sets already, which I do, uh, this will be automatically completed. This has not been confirmed, but I highly doubt the devs would expect us agents to refarm free gear sets after the 6th. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Moving on to the most important addition to these uh, holiday activities, and that is the exclusive mask that has been released from December 6th to January 10th, just for logging on. This mask actually looks really, really cool, and I already know I'm going to wear this, so I'm definitely going to be logging in between those periods of time. I mean, I would anyway regardless, but the mask is on screen and is what we're getting, and it kind of looks like an American flag. Sort of, I don't know. This is something that I did not expect, so I was really happy the devs have thought about this, and it will hopefully encourage people to log back in over the Christmas period just to get this mask. I'm really glad the devs actually didn't tie this to any sort of challenge or activity, but instead decided to just give it to everybody. It's a shame, actually, they can't do this for the DLC stuff, like Survival, Last Stand, Skirmish, and Resistance. I know I personally pay money for these, and I'm sure a lot of you guys did as well, but the player count is so low right now, and the Division 2 is right around the corner, I wouldn't actually mind if they just let everyone get this for free now. It would make my experience much better, as the matchmaking would be a lot quicker, and I wouldn't have to play against the same sort of 10 players all the time, but I digress. Next up, we have the Holiday Cash, which will be available from December 6th to January 10th, just like the mask. It doesn't say whether this will have to be earned or not, but I'm going to assume this will be available to collect upon logging in just like the exclusive mask, which, by the way, hasn't been given a name like the others, which is a little bit strange. As for the holiday cash, we have no idea what this will contain. My guess will be four items like a last stand cash, with the possibility of an exotic or classified gear piece being much higher. I also think they might throw in the Santa outfit for everyone, which I think will be a really cool addition. I think I have already have two or three pieces, but I would love the whole set. And I think this would be actually in keeping with the whole Christmas theme. And I think generally the, the community will be pretty happy with getting this set in, uh, in that cache. Moving on, and we have the Outbreak Global Event. Now, the classified gear sets tied to this are Deadeye, Lone Star, and Final Measure. I still need the Deadeye backpack to complete my Deadeye builds. Uh, and I still, I think I still need three pieces of fine and measure as well. I think I need the knee pads, mask, and, and gloves, I believe. I always find it really hard to get knee pads, no matter what classified gear set it is. But, you know, if I'm just getting regular gear sets and I seem to get them all the time, I, I assume that's probably going to be the same for, for everyone. But, oh well, I'll just have to keep grinding, I guess. The Outbreak Global event is all about contamination. And the modifiers are... Outbreak, which is a global modifier and is always active. Headshot kills increase headshot damage for a short duration and spread bleed to nearby targets. I absolutely love this, especially if you're running like a sniper or, you know, like an M700 Carbon or an SVD or something. It's pretty cool. We've then got Severe Outbreak, which is the outbreak behavior plus enemies are contagious and will drain agents' health when close. This can be a little bit frustrating, but uh, yeah, in general, it's not too, too hard. And then lastly, we've got the Critical Outbreak, which is a group modifier, and it says Threat Level 1 Behavior plus Headshot Marked Enemies can be killed instantly with a second headshot from any other team. Now, if you've got good synergy, it's really, really easy to smash your way through this global event just based on that alone, especially if you're running a group, as I said, just on that Critical Outbreak alone. Now, when you do activate Severe or Critical Outbreak, every NPC has a contamination aura around them that is, in essence, a damage over time effect. That damage over time can be countered when you keep your distance from the NPCs or with the support station, for example. Critical Outbreak activates a team modifier that enables one player to mark an NPC, as I said, with a headshot and another player to instantly kill it with another headshot. Your headshots will mark enemies orange and the headshots of the other players will appear blue. Focus on the blue markers, of course, and you can kill groups of enemies really, really fast. As I said, as a group, it's pretty easy. It is recommended that some players mark the NPCs with fast fire and weapons. Um, I can think of you, Urban MDR, with some sort of striker-based sentry build, or just sentry alone would be really, really strong. While other players clean up with precision weapons. 
this advice came from Reddit and explains exactly how the global event works. If you want me to do an update, an updated video on sort of best outbreak build, build, then please let me know in the comments below. The outbreak global event will be available from December 6th to December 13th. Last but not least, we have the blackout global event, which is available from December 13th to December 20th. So just as soon as the uh, the outbreak ends, we've then got blackout leading up to Christmas. Now, this global event is pretty simple. It takes the shock ammo directive from the underground mode and uses it as a foundation for this global event. Now, the modifiers are, we have blackout, which is a global modifier. It's always active. Agents are equipped with shock ammo that stuns enemies. Shooting or running builds charge your meter. The more charge, the more damage you inflict. We've then got extreme blackout, which is the blackout behavior plus you can instantly kill enemies with overcharged melee attacks. But if you miss, you will stun yourself and your ally. So whatever you do, do not miss is the point of that. We then got total blackout, which is the group modifier, which is the extreme blackout behavior. Plus your charge meter will cool down faster when close to other group members. Now tips for this global event are to mind your distance if total blackout is active. Make sure you always have the blue lines, not red, as this will mean that your overcharge bar will cool down quicker. If you have the second or third modifier active and your overcharge is charged enough, i.e. in the red segment of your overcharge bar, this means you can now one-punch NPCs, which is, which is really, really cool. Of course, this global event is a lot about the shock ammo, so make sure you're running an immunizer. Aside from that, the classified gear sets tied to this event are D3, FNC, Deadeye, Strikers, and I believe Tacticians Authority. I still need some Tacticians, but I finally got Strikers some, some time ago, but it took me a very, very long time. And I've got a D3 FNC set, so I don't need that. Uh, as I said, Deadeye, I still need the backpack. I'm not sure what I need for Tacticians. I think I need two pieces. I think I need the uh, chest piece, and I think I need, again, the knee pads, but I'd have to check that. I think I'll probably, uh, probably get into this one, because I do want to get six pieces of Tacticians. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, of course, my ideal situation is I get every uh, classified gear set in the game before uh, the Division 2 comes out. I'm sure some of you guys have probably got multiples, but I just I just haven't been that lucky. So, uh, so yeah, Iron Jesus, please, just, just, just let me get them all. Please. There you go, agents. Let me know what you think of the new exclusive mask and leave your comments as to what you think we will get in the holiday cash below. As I said, I, I think we're probably going to get four items... A high chance of getting an exotic and classified. And I also think we're going to get the full set of the uh, Santa uh, vanity set, basically. Uh, before I end this video, though, I want to ask you, Agent Summer. Now, I've been doing a lot of, sort of speculation videos for The Division 2, as well as just generally hyping the game up on my channel for the last couple of weeks. Actually, it's probably longer than that, the last couple of months, I believe. Now, I've re really enjoyed doing these videos, and it appears you agents have as well. But I want to know if you're missing any Division content on my channel. You know, Division, the first Division content on my channel or not. There isn't a whole lot for me to do in the Division except for PvP at this point. Which I still enjoy from time to time. But is there anything that you agents miss that you'd like to see return? I'm sure some of you guys are already heading to the comments to say we want to see F the meta again. Or Epic F in Slayers. And I understand, but... Just the way that YouTube is at the moment, I simply just can't do those videos. So, apologies. Um, maybe I can think of something else. But just let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you'd like to see me to see return or something new from the division on my channel. The one thing that I don't do a lot of is the dark zone. So, if you guys want to see that, then of course let me know. I just want to grasp what kind of you and the audience, you as the audience and agents, want from me because it's very easy for me to lose track. And ultimately, I make content for you, agents. You know, I make content that you agents will enjoy and that I will enjoy making as well. So please let me know down below as I would love to get some feedback on the current position of my channel and what you guys want to see. Now, I know I've personally been mil milking the Division 2, but to my defense, I have been covering things people think about but just don't talk about, which I think I should be doing. And also covering things that's new, like the new skills, for example. And... Obviously, yesterday's video talking about how the skills could possibly be of concern. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys thought of that, but you didn't actually... You've not, not talked about it. A lot of people haven't talked about it, and I just simply do that. If I think of something, I make a video about it. Now, I do get a bit lost in the news that we get for The Division 2. Um, and I just start sort of creating videos, but my intentions are always good, as I always think about what you agents want. Anyway... The point is, I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. I'm getting a little bit soppy now, so I'm going to leave it there. As always, your support is truly appreciated on all of my videos. 
and it always actually surprises me how, for the most part, you agents react positively in the comments, regardless of the uh, content or the video that I put out. Ultimately, you agents are the real MVPs, and I will never, ever forget that, regardless of how big I may or may not get. But with that said, until the next one, epic out.